Do you want help? Do you want me to help you? Hey you guys, happy Saturday. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so we need to talk about a few things, just not right at this moment. It is Saturday, it is 8.30 in the morning. I had the amazing, wonderful idea to sign up for Pilates at nine o'clock on a Saturday. So that's where we're off to in this super cozy lusciousness of a jacket. I hope you guys enjoyed that little theater performance from Sophia. She refuses help. She loves to lay on the bed and it takes her a good five, 10, 15 minutes to get on it. But if you help her, she jumps off and then gets herself back on. Does anyone else have a child that's that way? My mom says that I was like that when I was little, so it's probably where Sophia gets it from. <laughs> um, We don't have very many updates from the last time I hung out with you guys. I think the last time we hung out was Halloween. So a few updates. The was still around. <laughs> Makes it sound so morbid. My stove works and uh, I think that's it. But if you thought anything was gonna change around here, you were very confused because there's still the sound of a washer and a dryer in the background. There's still this, the sound of like 17 dogs running around in my house. And there is a heavily mustached, very handsome, good looking man in my living room right now. So that's it. Since we spoke last, uh, I've had a birthday and uh, I've had a mental breakdown crisis <laughs> that we're still in the midst of. Miss, midst, midst, we're still in the midst of it, whatever. So we're still in the middle of it, but I missed working, I missed connecting with you guys, and if I get one more very heavily concerned direct message, I'm gonna have a very secondary nervous breakdown because I don't want you guys to be worried about me. I'm just like a random stranger on the internet with uh, very, very, <laughs> very, insignificant value in your life. But I didn't want you guys to continue to wonder and to be nervous, so we're here. It's Saturday, we have a pretty casual weekend happening. We really have no plans. We have no kids and no plans. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and uh, hang out with you guys. So I did a post on my Instagram for the dogs. If you guys don't know, they have their own Instagram, which is it's ridiculous, but like there's so much dog content that I like to share with you guys that they needed their own place. So I posted a picture of the double watching like crime, crime shows, like murder shows, cause he's really into that. Like if I prop up the iPad, he watches. And someone made a comment and said, oh, you know, it's so funny that, you know, your dog's on a barefoot dreams blanket. First of all, I wouldn't spend $200 on a blanket. Second of all, it's a dupe for the Barefoot Dreams blanket. And third of all, it's from Sam's and it was 25 bucks. You wanna see it? So this is the blanket that all of the dogs really like to lay on, which I find personally offensive because it's like my blanket. As I've gotten older, the things that I'm into are pretty much you know, very cuddly or edible. And this is an example of it. So I found these at Sam's Club when I was shopping with Irma and I got the taupe one. This is like the taupey beige creamy colored one and I got the pink one, but it is an exact, exact dupe of the Barefoot Dreams and it was 25, I think it was $25. I mean, it was under 30 for sure. And it's, uh, it's really nice, it's super nice. Parker has uh, gotten increasingly jealous of my relationship with this blanket, but you know, it's just, it's just what's getting me through right now. <laughs> anyway, um, we are heading out the door. I don't know if you guys care. Oh, you know what? I just found these new sports bras at, uh, on Amazon, at Amazon, on Amazon. And if you guys are um, really small chested like I am, and you really don't need support or compression, but you still want something to cover up but is also cute down these i'll show you actually i have too many layers on right now so i'll just show you the white one they're really cute so they look like this and i love how many seams they have because so these are actually called push-up sports bras so they come with removable pads i removed the ones out of mine but I don't know if you can tell, it has like that little ridge. So it's gonna give you push-ups. So if you wanna look sexy at the gym, you can, but I just pulled the, the sponges out. But it has all these really pretty seams and it has that little slope or the V-cut in the front, which is sweet, instead of like the high neck or the just the scoop. And then in the back, it has these really stretchy straps that kind of cross over, but they're double straps. So it has that really cute touch. 
This is very wide, so it comes down like mid-torso, which is also really cool. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but with um, Racerbacks, I get a headache usually. But these are so soft. They're not really tight. So they don't pinch wherever they're pinching, and they give me like that neck and the head tension. These don't have that. So I thought I would share that with you guys. They come in individual colors and they also come in a two pack. I just got the black and white. That's the status of our life. I'll most definitely give you guys a um, more in-depth update of what's been going on. Can we talk about my teeth? I don't remember the last time, I don't remember the way they looked the last time we spoke, but I have maybe three more trays left before the reassessment, which they say that after the reassessment, you still get several more trays. Um, but look at that, isn't that crazy? They're like, they were already straight, but they're more, they're like in a different position. Even when I chew, my teeth just feel like they're in a new, in a new zip code. It's kind of, it's kind of fascinating. But anyway, I'm gonna be late. I gotta head out the door, but if we do, anything exciting. We're probably just going to eat this weekend. So whatever we get into, whatever we eat, you guys are coming along. But I'm so happy to be back. And uh, I hope that you guys um, didn't miss me too much. But I know who you really care about seeing right now in this moment. Like I know there's just, there's just one miniature creature in your life that you really would like to find out about, right? And my, why do I look so bald? Look at that. Holy mackerel. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. You want to say hi to your friends? Everyone's wondering about you. Yeah. Everyone's wondering about you. You want to show them how happy you are? Yeah? Say hello. Diles hola. I feel good. You see? I'm still here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The doctors don't know. Snatch. Right, Bubba? That's right. Oh, all right. Why are you so handsome? Why are you so, oh, okay. Do you wanna talk about it later? Okay, we'll talk about it later. Man, you can't underestimate the power of like happy chemicals in your brain, you know? I'm so glad that it took me, well, I'm not glad that it took me, but I'm glad that I was finally able to find an exercise that I could actually stick with, that I actually enjoy, because I've done all the things and I just can never stick with it. And Pilates, man, has my heart. And it's not something where like you leave and you hate yourself. You just feel good. It feels almost like you're exercising your brain and your feelings and your body. So it's a, it's like the whole trifecta. Anyway, we need to talk about something really serious though. Like, have you guys ever been in like a really healthy, balanced, wonderful relationship with like, I don't know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever. And then it just, it kind of hits you out of the blue. You're like, are you, are you judging me? So I may have been like in the middle of my Pilates class when I text Parker, hey, can you check if this Mexican restaurant in Addison is still doing the buffet on the weekends? <laughs> he literally replied, are you texting me about food while you're in your class? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's not the response that I was looking for, but yes, yes I am. <laughs> you know what? I exercise to feel good on my inside. If I feel good on the outside and I look good on the outside, that's just a bonus. But for me, when it comes to food and exercise, it's never been an exterior motivator. It's always been an interior motivator. You know, like I know 
as much as I love cookies and milk, I can't have cookies and milk before bed because I'm going to feel like I am dying. For some reason, I just can't have milk before bed anymore because I'm that old. Well, it's the same thing with like diet and exercise. I hate the culture around exercising. It's like, yeah, you know, come to the gym and burn off that holiday fat. You, you can't just all of a sudden go to the gym and undo like the damage that you did over, like it doesn't work that way. It's not like you, you overeat during the holidays and then you work out and it, it 86 is it, you know, like that. It's not, it's not interchangeable like that. It's not how it works. So I hate that whole, the whole culture around what diet means and what exercise means. Like diet is just, it's feel for your body, but if some things make you happy, why can't you treat yourself, you know? So there is something to be said about the chemicals that your brain releases. I know this is like the topic of the conversation for this vlog, but there is something to be said about the specific chemicals that you your body produces when you hug a puppy or when you eat your favorite cake or when your loved one says they love you, or when you run a mile, you know, there's different types of chemicals that your body actually needs and makes you feel better. So I think it's really important to like be kind to ourselves and not think diet means, you know, you're eating carrot sticks and water all day, or exercise doesn't mean, you know, killing yourself at the gym seven days a week because you accidentally ate eight tamales at your grandma's house because it was, you know, noche buena. <laughs> Christmas Eve. So anyway, I'm on my way home and I really hope Parker has good news for me about this Mexican buffet because I don't even remember the name of the restaurant. All I remember is it's in Addison. Right when you get off the highway, boom, it's right there. And they would do this really amazing Mexican buffet on the weekends where you can have chilaquiles, you can have huevos rancheros, they have menudo, they have um, pan dulce, cafe de olla. It's just all laid out and you can just eat as much as you want and it's wonderful. I am so food motivated. This morning we were teasing Ernie because she will do anything for food. Like, if you wanna train her, all you have to do is give her like a little bite of food and she is like 100% totally food motivated. And I was making fun of her because I was like, dude, you'll jump into a pool of sharks for a treat, you know? And I'm like, so will I. <laughs> I am heading home. I'm gonna meet up with Parker at home. What? Okay, anyway, I'm heading home and hopefully Parker has good news. So anyway, whatever we, wherever we decide to go have breakfast, I'm bringing you guys along and hopefully it's a good place because food motivated. Food, anyone else, are you food motivated? Like, just why, why wouldn't you be, you know? It's like instant gratification in my mouth. The girls were making fun of me the other day because after dinner I was like, oh, you guys, I'm so sad. And they're like, what happened? I'm like, oh oh my ice cream is gone. And they're like, "What? Did, who ate it? And I was like, my tummy. <laughs> and Taryn was like, do you want me to go buy you some more? <laughs> and I was like, no, because then I'll eat it all. <laughs> this is where I'm at. But you know what, for about a month, I'm taking a medication and for about a month, food wasn't making me happy anymore. Like I just, I wasn't food motivated, food wasn't making me happy, I wasn't looking forward to eating, I wasn't hungry, it was just, it was a travesty, you guys. So now that I'm like excited about food again, it's it's a big part of my life, it's like my career, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm so excited, I'm spitting. I mean, that's, that's why I went to culinary school, you know, because I know the power of food. This is, this is the whole, this whole vlog is gonna be about food and brain chemicals. You're welcome. Oh, oh, there it is. Yes, 
a good boy. Big stretchies. Big stretchies. Bumpy. What? You have a whole little apartment. You have a whole little apartment. Yes, you do. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why are you so little? Oh, my man. You wanna go potty? Let's go potty, come on. Yeah, come on. Let's go potty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come here with that beautiful dress. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're nice. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Get down, please. Get down, please. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Choo-choo! <laughs>